Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Shelly's Millions. Um, today I wanted to talk about something that you guys have really been asking a lot for and quite frankly I have been avoiding this topic. In today's video I want to cover the reasons why you might be receiving the zero dollar in benefits message from the EDD and I want to talk about name and ID verification and why that might be happening and give you a couple of tips on how you might be able to get the ball moving and get those issues taken care of a little bit faster. As always, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that you might think would find it useful. Okay, and a disclaimer, I don't work for the EDD, I'm not a professional, I'm just going through this process the first time myself, and usually the videos that I have been making have been a little bit more about my own personal experience. Luckily, I did not have issues with having my ID verified or I didn't get the zero dollar in benefits error, but a couple of my employees did. Um, so I do have a little bit of information about that and I did some research, but I'm not a professional, so please you know, double check the information that I'm giving you guys because I don't wanna point you in the wrong direction. So I was really trying to find the common thread for why people were getting the ID verification request in the mail from the EDD. And initially when this was happening, one of the things I thought was a common thread was that people hadn't filled out their 2019 taxes yet at the time that they had filed. But actually, as I was digging today, I think this is the common thread. So please let me know in the comments down below if this applies to your situation. So now what I believe is the common thread, the piece of information that is causing the EDD to request ID verification is this. It seems to be that, let's say that you live in California, but you moved here from New York or from Ohio or from another state and that's where your driver's license is issued and you haven't renewed your driver's license because it's not expired or whatnot. Um, and that's what you supplied to your employer when you first started was your driver's license, but then you put your address that you want your W-2 to go to, which is going to be your California address. That seems to trigger it. So I'm really curious in the comments below, do you have a license or an ID card either out of state or just at a different address than is listed on your W-2, could that be what caused the EDD to request that information from you in the first place? Um, and the ID verification, while they're waiting on that, that seems to trigger them giving the $0 in benefit award letter. So first you have to take care of getting your ID verified and then that's when they will clarify the zero dollars in benefits. Everything that I'm reading seems to say that it will take about four to five weeks from the time they receive your documentation for your ID in the mail for them to fix it on their own. And I know that that's a lot of time for people to wait because those four to five weeks, that's not from the time you applied, that's from the time they get your identity documentation. So if you need to speed that up, um, there are a couple of things that you can try. If you have sent your documents back to the EDD, the best thing to do is going to be to call. Now I do hear that they are training the people that are answering the general line a little bit better. They are sometimes able to uh, help with more complex issues and all of the videos that I have seen about the EDD are recommending that you call like as soon as they open at 8 a.m. I don't think that's the best advice because that's the advice that's given to everyone so everyone's on those phones at 8 a.m. Here's what I do think this is what worked for me when I called. I called around 11 a.m. and I called three times and I got through on the third try. There's also a lot of like phone tricks going around. I actually tried one of those tricks and that actually booted me from the right phone message into going back to the wrong phone message. So I would just keep calling until you get through, but my advice is to not call as soon as they open. Maybe wait an hour or so later. 
I do like calling it the 11 a.m. time slot because keep in mind the line that's supposed to be able to help you with more complex issues is open from 8 a.m. to noon. So at 11 a.m., that means everybody is still there, which means that if they need to get assistance from a supervisor, they can do that. If they need to transfer you over to somebody that has the experience to adjust your claim, they might be able to do that as well. So I do recommend just that general number, which again, I've got it memorized because I've said it so many times. That number is area code 833-978-2511. And again, I'm gonna recommend calling at around 11. So that's the first thing that I would do if you are having the problem with your ID verification and you wanna try and get that expedited. It does seem like if you get somebody on the phone, they can push that through a little bit faster. So I hope that tip works for you. I'm gonna have another tip for you at the end of this video after I go over the other scenario where you might get the $0 in benefits notification. So the other scenario that I found that might lead to a $0 in benefit award letter being sent to you or showing up online is the situation where maybe you didn't have enough W-2 work history in order to apply for or to qualify for unemployment benefits. So usually, I know, I feel like most of us applied either March, April, or May. If you applied in March, they actually are looking at the period from October of 2018 through September of 2019. So if you started your job in November, December, January, they're not even looking at that period if you applied for benefits in March. Now if you applied in April or May, they are looking at the benefit period through December of 2019. But if you applied in April or May, but you had just begun your job in January or February, they're still not looking at that period. And so that can result in a $0 benefit letter being sent to you. But you can request an alternate base period. So you can request that they revise the number of months that you are, that they're looking at your unemployment data so that they can pull updated information from your W-2 employer. So if you need them to calculate an alternate base period for you, you are going to need to request a form for them, which is probably going to require another call to them so that they can send the form to you. They also send the form to your employer and your employer is supposed to respond within 10 days. But I feel like a lot of us that are furloughed, this is at least the case for me, no one's at our corporate office either. There's no one on the other end to receive the form to fill it out and send it back to the EDD. So once the EDD requests like a revised earning periods and report from your employer, your employer has 10 days to respond. If your employer either doesn't respond within 10 days or they're not there to respond within 10 days, there's a form that you can fill out and they will um, ask you for some backup documentation, probably like pay stubs, that kind of thing, um, to mail back to them so that they can calculate your alternate base period. So those are kind of the two scenarios that I see coming up a lot. Certainly in my research, the most common reasons that people receive that $0 in benefits award letter. As always, you can ask me your questions down in the comments. I will do my best to answer them and to help you out and to figure out what's going on. There is one more tip besides calling them that can kind of help some of these claims that might be stuck, that might have a $0 in benefits, that maybe just say uh, pending, or maybe disqualified. And the new piece of information, and I haven't tested this out, I haven't experienced this myself, so I'm not sure how well it works, but that new piece of information is to change your login information. You can't open a new claim because that's all tied into your social security number, but sometimes something, if you've ever opened a claim in the past, I guess it can kind of get hung up and tripped up on your old 
information. So a lot of people, if they aren't able to resolve their claims in another manner, it kind of frees up and unlocks it somehow if you change your login information. Now to totally change your login information, you're going to need a different email address. I feel like most of us have like multiple email accounts. I've got my EDD claim going to my Gmail account, but I also still have an active Hotmail account. So whatever your secondary email account is, it might help to change your login information um, and to move forward with it that way. You know, I know that this, in, that this video didn't really like unlock a super fast way to fix these things, but I think it's really interesting at least to maybe know why you got that name verification letter in the first place, especially if everything was correct on your W-2. And I do think that's related to IDs with a different address than you receive your W-2 at. So I think that's it. Make sure to leave that in the comments and say, yeah, that's spot on or no, you still still got this wrong. Um, try calling after you've sent your documents to see if they've received them. If you need to have them calculate an alternate base period, call them and have them send you that form so that process can begin. And yeah, I know it's hard. It's hard to be patient because we're not really knowing if they've received it or not. But after you've sent the form, um, if, if, a, if probably like two weeks has passed since you've sent that back, I definitely would recommend getting on the phone, holding and trying to get through to them. Um, I hope that everybody's issues are resolved soon. Let me know what I can do to help you. Uh, let me know what videos you still need made because I want to keep giving you guys the information that you need. And as always, if you want to get two free stocks, go ahead and use my Weeble link down below. You get two free stocks and then I also get two free stocks from referring you. And I just think that that's really cool. It's a platform that I like. Uh, they are not paying me to say that. The only bonus that I get is those two free stocks. I'm uploading videos twice a week. That is on Saturday and Mondays. So if you like this, please remember to subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.